Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! I am already back with another episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo. I had some free time and I was able to do some work here uh, that I really wanted to do before the new uh, conservation pack for the Planet Zoo will be released. So what we're gonna do today in today's video is build a habitat for a Nile Letchway. Nile Letchway is definitely one of my favorite ungulates in Planet Zoo. I just love them. I think that they look so, so beautiful. The Nile Letchway and the Fallow Deer, I think they both share the first place for me as my favorites uh, when it comes to all the uh, ungulates. So yeah, I am very happy to be able to finally build for them because I love them so much. Uh, from the very first time that I saw them uh, when the new pack was released I fell in love with them so the fact that we have them finally in the Elm Hill City Zoo makes me so so happy so we are building this enclosure next to the wild water buffalo habitat that we've built in the previous episode and in the previous episode we already did so much work that prepared us sort of to build this habitat today that's why today's video will be a bit shorter because we had a lot of things already already done for this habitat, for example a shelter or a fence or a water section or the a viewing platform, they are all here. So we just need to finish it off, we need to surround it with a fence, we need to add the plants, the rocks and all of the details to this habitat. So, in case you haven't seen the wild water buffalo habitat and you would like to see how I created those uh, things like for example a shelter or a fence, I will put the link down in the description and on the screen so you can go and check out this video. By the way, thank you guys for all the positive comments under that video because I wasn't really sure if you would like this enclosure because it was a bit more simple that we uh, used to do the enclosures lately uh, so I am really really happy that you liked it so much. So as you guys could see at first I used the fence that we created last time and I added it next to the one that was already there uh, and I create like this space between them uh, to add there a lot of plants to create like this uh, visual block between the two habitats. This is what I saw in uh, Berlin, in Berlin Zoo. Uh, I was recently there uh, and it gave me so much inspiration and sometimes between those uh, ungulates uh, enclosures, if they were next to each other, they had this like a lane or something of the greenery uh, that created this like um, natural visual block for the animals and I really like the idea and I wanted to use it here and I really like how it has turned out. On the other side I used the fence that I created some time ago for the fallow deer. Uh, I then used it in several uh, like different enclosures and I really like it. And I think that you know uh, we are still building in one zoo so uh, why not use the fences that are nice over and over again. Like in real zoos not like every habitat has different set of fences. Uh, that's why I decided that that if it worked why not use it here and I in the end I really love how it is looking I think it suits this area really much and I also like the holding pan that we created using it I also like transferred uh, the gate for a holding pan that we did for the fallow deer and of course by the end of this video I will work a bit more on this uh, holding pan to make it look a bit more interesting since my last video where we talked a bit uh, about the new conservation pack, uh, Frontier released some information of what we can expect uh, in the free update 1.9 and this was kind of unexpected because they used to firstly announce the update and then we had the DLC news and right now it was the other way around. I didn't have a chance to make a video uh, about the new free update like to go through 
it, about the all the things that we will get with it. Uh, but I will make sure to uh, like point out the things in this video. So stay with me if you'd like to hear what we can expect to be added to the game basically for free. So as you guys can see on the screen right now, I'm sort of working on this uh, water section like to surround it with uh, reeds, like a uh, typical water uh, plants. Uh, this is what I skipped in the last video. I also did like the part that wasn't really the part of the an actual habitat, but was like next to it. And here I also had something like that plant. So I wanted to show you guys how I actually do it, how I add those plants. And for example, for example, how I use those uh, leaves from the Euro pack as the duckweed. Uh, I use here mainly the elephant grass. I know that this is sort of like an African plant, but here in Europe, for example, we have like a very similar plant uh, growing near the lakes and ponds and something. So this is what I had in my head. By the way, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but I tried to uh, sort of improve uh, my voice, the quality of the voiceover with different microphone settings and stuff like that. I am very like new to that. I am not like uh, a sound guy <laughs> at all or anything. I don't know anything about the sound editing, but I try to make those videos better. So please let me know if you can hear the difference if the quality of my voice is actually better. I would love to hear it from you guys if you can hear it, if my struggles uh, went for nothing basically. But yeah, I am still learning, I am still trying to uh, be better at YouTube. And lately I simply thought that my voice on my videos sounds a bit worse than other people that I watch here on this platform, so I decided to make something about it. Okay guys, so as you can see, I added a lot of trees and different foliage to this habitat. I of course wanted to make it a bit more dense because the, uh, the lechways are typically uh, shy animals, so I wanted to give them some places to hide in the habitat, but still to protect the foliage because they are herbivores, so they would eat it. Uh, at first I added here the tree guards that I already created some time ago and I am using quite frequently uh, but then I sort of went through the photos from my uh, trip to Berlin Zoo to look for inspiration for this habitat and I found those like slightly bigger ones that were created from the mesh and I sort of wanted to also do that and then I realized that the ones that I see on photos on my phone are actually very very similar to uh, the steel mesh fans that we have in game so why not use the in-game fans for those cards uh, I decided to do it and in the end I just simply love it because I think it looks so so realistic so generic just something that I saw in zoo, so <laughs> what could be better? Right now I am adding a lot of uh, small rocks to this habitat, I'll be also adding some dead trees for some you know, details to make it look a bit more interesting and also to give the animals something to graze on as they would do in a real life. This was of course another of those habitats where I knew that I couldn't go too crazy with the foliage because of those animals being uh, basically herbivores and that they would eat everything that will be here uh, in this habitat when it comes to plants. But there is some difference about this habitat. It will be actually a bit green and this is because again Berlin Zoo <laughs> again my photos yeah I was a bit bored and I was going through my phone and I actually remembered that in Berlin there was a ledgeway habitat it wasn't a Nile ledgeway because if you guys don't know uh, there are different species and subspecies of ledgeway there's not only a Nile ledgeway but there's for example 
common lechway which has different subspecies, for example red lechway or black lechway and so on, uh, but we in the game have the Nile lechway which is the most like endangered one and the more I think characteristic one because of the male being like black with this white spot on the back. The other species and subspecies of lechway uh, are of course also beautiful but maybe not as outstanding as the Nile lechway, that's why I I uh, totally like see why it was chosen to be uh, added to the game. So yeah, it was I think the common lechway in the Berlin Zoo and I went through the photos of the uh, habitat and then I saw some plants in it and I like zoomed in <laughs> in the photo and I saw that there are actually a lot of nettles in this habitat. So I was convinced that those animals don't eat nettles and I sort of rediscovered this plant in this game because I stopped using it. If you remember, some of you maybe remember my first videos uh, from this zoo, you'll remember that I sometimes used the nettles but then when the new uh, foliage started to you know be added to the game with a new DLCs I sort of forgot about it but I still think that it is such a beautiful plant, it is so well made in the game that I am really happy that I sort of rediscovered it because I know that I'll be using it a lot in my future habitats. And here I went a bit crazy with the nettles, so this is the part of the zoo where the nettles like to grow, <laughs> let's think of it that way, because there will be a lot of them in this habitat. I know that some animals actually eat nettles, for example I think that pigs love them, uh, I sort of remember something from my family who live on the countryside that they feed the pigs with nettles from their garden, something like that, maybe I'm confusing something but uh, I think that there are some animals that like for sure eat the nettles but maybe the Nile lechway has a very delicate mouth or tongue for something and doesn't like to be burned by them? Like, do nettles burn in English or do they stink in English? I have no idea, maybe someone could help me because in my language they burn you just like fire does. So this is quite weird when I think about it, but yeah, we in Polish say that nettles burn, uh, but maybe in English it's something else. In this habitat I will also use a lot of uh, birch branches and I am losing, using here a blueprints uh, of the bigger branches done by Lider. They are done by, from those smaller branches that were introduced to the game with the North America Animal Pack, I think. And there is a blueprint on the workshop that includes them. Uh, this is a part of this Fennec Fox set done by Lider. I will put the link down in the description if you would like to use them in your own habitats. Okay, let's start the talk about the new uh, update uh, 1.10 because I still would like to share with you guys some fun facts about the Nile Letchway and I am afraid that I won't be able to make it. There are some really exciting things coming to the game with a new update. Uh, this is one of the best ones, if I am honest. I don't remember an update that had so many like really cool things. Of course, I am always happy about the new update, but I think that this one is really good. So the first thing that will be added are the education stations. Uh, the things that the guests will be able to interact with when you put them next to the paths. This is the height measuring station station where the guests can will be able to compare their height against the giraffe and gorilla. This is really cool, this is something that we see in Zeus and that's people were trying to recreate themselves and now it will be just in the game and we will be able to see that people use this, so really really cool stuff. Uh, then we have the soundboard station and the paw print station, uh, like similar things, uh, like something the guests will be able to interact, it, interact with and also really really realistic when it comes to Zeus, you have those stuff when you are walking around them. Then we have the new like sort 
of animation for the guests. Right now they should do a group photos next to the habitats where the animals will have their happiness over 50%. Uh, so they will do group photos with the animals or with the habitats. Really cool stuff, really something that we can see everyday life, people doing those group photos, selfies and stuff. Uh, so uh, really cool that it is added to the game. Then something that makes me really exciting because it's so, so realistic. The animal sniffing behavior, like you can see animals sniffing all the time. In zoos, in real life, in forests, on the television, they are just sniffing because the sense of hu uh, humor, not humor, the sense of smell is very important to them. I, I mean, the sense of humor is always important, uh, at least for me, uh, but the sense of smell is uh, definitely important for the animals. Uh, Especially for the animals that have, for example, bad sight, uh, they rely on smell. And I am very happy that they are still adding things that for the animals that exist in the game from the very beginning. This is so, so cool. And makes me even more hopeful for a future of Planet Zoo, because if they are still adding things to animals, maybe they will add another animations and other things that will make the game uh, even more like cool, even more beautiful and even more enjoyable. Then we have the animal chorus behavior. It is added because of the Siamang, as you guys probably know, the Siamang, they like call uh, and they are doing it like simultaneously a bit. So they create this chorus and this will also be added for Arctic Wolf and the Timber Wolf, which is also real realistic because they, they just do it. When one starts to howl, uh, the whole pack howls with it. Uh, so really cool, uh, really realistic behavior that is also added for the animals that are already in the game. And then we have the new climbing enrichment, which allows the Siamang to do their branchiation animations, which is so cool. Uh, here in the update, it doesn't say that it will be available to use for other animals that do the branchiation, for example, the uh, chimpanzees or the orangutans that are very notable of doing the branchiation. Uh, but I am very hopeful that it will be added for them to be used in the future as, as well. Then we have the thing that I am personally super excited about because I manifested it in a lot of my videos, I asked for it and my prayers were listened. Uh, the small habitat gates. This is just amazing, finally we have them. Like imagine using the one meter fence for example and then having uh, being like forced to use the gate that is like 180 centimeters I think or two meters so it was higher than the rest of the fence which didn't look cool it looked totally like off so now we'll be able to add the smaller gates that will make those uh, habitats with lower fences more realistic. And the new update will also bring the additional shop counters for all the shops that were missing it. So now all the shops, I mean the food shops, the gift shops and so on, will have the version to be simply boxless. Uh, so it allows you for better customization of them. So yeah, really, really cool stuff added to the game. I am mostly excited by new animal behaviors and also the small habitat gates. And I cannot wait for that. When it comes to the fun facts about the Nile Lechway, they are the crepuscular animals, which means that they are active in early morning and late afternoon. The male horns can grow up to 87 centimeters long, they can live up to 21 years in captivity, they are native to Sudan and Ethiopia, that means that they are found nowhere else in the wild, on the earth rather than there. Nile Lechway exhibits extreme sexual dimorphism. Uh, females are golden brown with wild underbellies and no horns. The males are blackish brown to russet with white hoods over their shoulders and small white patches over their eyes. And of course, they have horns. Unfortunately, the Nile Lechway is considered endangered animals due to their habitat loss. Their population lowered from 40,000 individual to only 4,000 over uh, the last 30 years. So, so this is just tragic and now a lot of zoos and uh, of course national reserves try to bring them back. Uh, 
uh, and save them from extinction. Okay guys, as you can see, I finished the entire habitat, I finished the holding pen, and I will do the shelter and the area uh, around the habitat of the camera so you'll be able to see the final product in the cinematic shots by the end of this video. This is all that I have for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel, it will really mean a world to me and will help my little channel to grow, and also you won't miss any of my future uploads. If you enjoyed today, video please give it a big thumbs up down below ring the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video and of course comment down below uh, what you think about the new free update 1.9 if you are excited for the new features and of course if you like today's habitat thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys